This week in Jamaica now, tainted tissue, manufacturer pulls supply from the market, the health ministry launches probe, national security minister prays for divine intervention in anti-corruption fight, the JFJ says he should just call it quits. Calls mount for Richard Azan to resign over Spalding's market affair, but the cabinet says he will stay put. And musicologist Tony Lang is dead. The details of these and other stories coming up after the break. Only in Jamaica could public defender Earl Witter sit on his laurels, be in continuous high spirits, and still not produce a single paragraph on the long-awaited Tivoli Gardens report. So I have a message for Earl Witter today. Give away things. I'm Heather Cummings and this is Jamaica Now. At least one manufacturer of locally produced toilet tissue has recalled its products. Neither the manufacturer nor the brand of tissue has been named. But the health ministry says the company voluntarily pulled its products from the market after it was found that they did not meet acceptable manufacturing standards. The ministry had earlier ordered the removal of the brands of inferior tissues from the market to reduce possible health risks. The four brands of tissues, one locally manufactured and three imported, were found with high bacterial loads. The Bureau of Standards Jamaica has come under fire for not naming the inferior brands. The agency insists that it could face lawsuits if the brands are made public. It's been a rough week for National Security Minister Peter Bunting after telling a congregation in Mandeville that Jamaica now needs divine intervention in the anti-crime fight. After 15 months, I am convinced that the best efforts of the security forces by itself will not solve the crime problem in Jamaica but it is going to take divine intervention, touching the heart of a wide cross-section of the society. Lobby group Jamaicans for Justice has been among the organizations calling for the minister to resign, saying it appears that he has given up in the anti-crime fight. Is he telling me that what he's doing is not working and he needs God to step in? The Lord helps those who help themselves, then. Right? I mean, it's very unfortunate. If you're in a job to do and you want to show up your hands and say you can't do it, then maybe you need to resign. I'm quite frankly, if you keep doing the same things over and over again, I don't know why you would expect to get the front result. This week, the National Security Minister released a statement saying his comments were misunderstood. Stressing that he was committed to his job, Mr. Bunting said his comment was aimed at highlighting that it will take the efforts of all Jamaicans, including faith-based entities, to stem crime and criminality. In the meantime, there is more pressure for embattled Junior Works Minister Richard Azan to step aside for his role in the Spalding's market mess. Mr. Azan has released a statement saying he had no intention to act in a corrupt manner. He had earlier admitted that he instructed a contractor to build and rent shops at the Spalding's Market without the approval of the Clarendon Parish Council. In the statement, Mr. Azan also said at no time did he gain any personal benefit from the project. However, several groups continue to call for him to step down. Mr. Azan has received support from the Cabinet, which says he will remain as State Minister for Transport and Works pending the outcome of a probe by the Office of the Contractor General. In a story we've been tracking, the police have expanded their probe into the downtown Kingston Swiss stores robbery to the Cayman Islands, where a similar incident took place some time ago. On Wednesday, the Jamaican police arrested five people, including a political activist, and recovered 13 of the stolen watches, a gun, ammunition, and cash. This is a highly organized team of people, and as the commissioner has mandated us, and the rest of the organization is that we should go to where the cash lead us. Musicologist and broadcaster Anthony Tony Lang is to be laid to rest on Saturday, April 27, following a 10 a.m. funeral at the St. Peter and Paul Church. Lang, who hosted the program Lang & Company on Power 106 FM, died on Saturday, April 13, after suffering from illnesses associated with a series of strokes. 
In the United States, U.S. President Barack Obama has declared that the Boston Marathon bombings in the state of Massachusetts was an act of terror. The blast killed three people, including an eight-year-old boy, and left more than 150 injured. Officials investigating the bombings say they have found images of a potential suspect from surveillance camera footage. And this week, one man was arrested in Mississippi on two charges of threatening President Barack Obama and others after he allegedly made letters with the deadly poison ricin. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at online feedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune into Par 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. After 15 months, I am convinced that the best efforts of the security forces by itself will not solve the crime problem in Jamaica. But it is going to take divine intervention, touching the heart of a wide cross-section of the society. I'm not embarrassed to say that right now as Minister of National Security, I'm going through a kind of a dark night of the soul because we're trying very hard at the ministry. I see the men and women of the security forces trying very hard, working night and day, long hours. I see the leadership um, capable, competent, professional, uh, both of the police and the military. And so much effort is being made, and yet so little headway, such slow headway um, is coming out in the statistics. And it really takes a lot of faith to keep working and going in the face of this.